hello good day viewers you are highly welcome uh, into this tutorial so we are going to be solving this beautiful uh, exponential and radical equation so uh, from here so what can i do to get rid of this uh, radical sign i'm going to square the both sides if i square the both side so it's this square we cancel the square root so i'm going to be left with 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x oh, sorry 5 to the power of 6 plus 5 to the power x 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power of 2 then equals so now let's maintain this 5 to the power 2 right so don't let don't let us take it uh, to be 25 okay so now let's move on so we can try to from here we try to uh, cross multiply so if you cross multiply so what are we going to have so you can have this 5 to power x okay multiplying this so we're going to be 5 to power x we multiply this we have 5 to power of 2 right then 5 to power of this we're going to be 5 that is 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 2. So that's what you are going to do if you try to do this. Use this 5 to the power of 2 to multiply this. 5 to the power of 2 times this, we have this. 5 to the power of 2 times this, we're going to have this. Then equals, we have 5 to the power of 6, then plus 5 to the power of x. So now from here, what is the next thing we are going to do? So we can see that this and this are connected together by this uh, multiplication. So therefore, we are going to transpose the 5 to the power x that is uh, from right hand side to the left hand side. 5 to the power x dot 5 to the power 2, then minus 5 to the power of x, then equals this one. I'm going to transpose this one also to the right hand side minus 5 to the power of, you know, 5 to the power of 2 dot 5 to the power of 2. So now from there, we're going to have 5 to the power of x, right, is common. We factorize it out. We have 5 to the power of 2 minus what? 1, then equals 5 to the power of uh, 6 minus 5 to the power of 4. So now from here, we see that 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of 2 minus 1 equals. Now here, I can factorize 5 to the power of 4 out and this will be 5 to the power of 2 so that when you try to multiply this and this together you're going to have 5 to the power of 6 then this one remain 1 so now from there so you can see that if we divide through by 5 square minus 1 this we cancel this right so I'm going to be left with 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of what 4 and that's give us since the bases are the same so that gave us this implies that x is equals 4 right so that's the solution to the problem well you can actually check whether we are right or not so let's have this 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of 2 this is check okay so now let's see whether it's going to give us 5 as we have up there so we have 5 to the power of 6 plus 5 to the power of 4 then divide by 5 to the power of 4 plus 5 to the power of 2 sorry this is power 2 so now from there and we have what we have the square root so now from there we can see that i have 5 to the power of 4 here common i can say 5 to the power of 4 into bracket 5 to the power of 2 then plus 1 divided by here what is common here 5 to the power of 2 is common 5 to the power of 2 into bracket, I'm going to have 5 to the power of 2, then we have plus 1, then let's take the square root. So now from there, you can see that 5 to five square plus 1, this, we cancel this, we have 5 to the power of 4, the bases are the same thing, so therefore, and we have the division, these two will come up, we subtract it from 4, then we have this. So now after that we have 5 to the power of 2, then square root, and this square root we cancel the square, we're going to see that we have 5. 
so which shows that x equals 4 is our solution right so if you find this class very interesting please share this to your colleagues hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content bye bye